good uh, good afternoon students uh, i am going to uh, present uh, you uh, the uh, concept on democracy uh, it is in paper 3 political theory concepts and debates now we are going to discuss how political uh, science evolved and how the idea of democracy evolved and uh, what are the aspects we are there in democracy how democracy is a very relevant subject in uh, day to day activity along with as a government or is a governing mechanism today's topic is a democracy every one of us know democracy is relevant topic in modernized life democracy is a form of governing mechanism in which the government is elected by the citizen that nation, nation notion through electoral process the legislative body here in a democracy is always accountable or answerable to the people and being a student of political science you may be always knowing as uh, president lincoln has said is a very famous a uh, popular definition of democracy he has given which is always being che cherished by all youngsters like democracy is by the people of the people and for the people democracy refers to a government based on popular sovereignty you may be heard about the idea of sovereignty sovereignty is always the the most powerful attribute of state and government and this sovereignty in democracy lies with the people that's why we call is with the people here consent is required and all the people have equal capacity to make decisions so decisions in a democracy is usually given by the people and uh, in indian context if you look at the indian context we practice democracy as a uh, part of government we are a parliamentary democracy you know it's well uh, and uh, we practice one man one vote universal adults of rich in india and being adult citizens of india we always go and vote and that is called one man one vote in the in the context of democracy in conceptualizing democracy we can stress back democratic ideas and values uh, like uh, from very back of greek city state or athenian city state like uh, democracy is otherwise called as rule by the people is a form of government in which people exercise the authority of government who people are how authority is shared how authority should develop uh, its activities and limits its work democracy talks about constitutionalism too constitutionalism means there should be limit to each and every one who is being elected by democratic methods and uh, you may be uh, knowing that you uh, you may be able to see the picture of democracy that democracy is a is a combination of uh, uh, various values like rights the idea of majority idea of voting and uh, uh, you can say uh, uh, individualism politics and uh, uh, democracy is you can say is is about uh, about uh, um, individualism individual rights it's also talks about cultural rights of old uh, people many people like minority and how the minority will get religi uh, religious activity and many things and in that way democracy uh, is being uh, many a time called uh, is a idea is a practice is a practice when uh, it is it is uh, uh, sally said there are many people many political scientists talked about democracy as idea or practice when uh, democracy is a government in which everyone has said we all are part of it that's what democracy says about it's so simple okay democracy is that form of political organization in which public opinion has control we always control the public opinion 
to uh, uh, to uh, look at it. Then uh, many uh, many uh, people define this as a uh, way of life. Or sometimes some uh, some people say Indian people do not have democratic lifestyle. That says that democracy is not at all only an idea of government or government mechanism. It is also a idea which should be practiced in day to day activity and family life that we can say uh, democracy uh, can be uh, can be uh, India is a democratic uh, country is the biggest democracy of the world maybe uh, uh, next to uh, United States you can say uh, uh, China is uh, China is a people's democracy that is a socialistic uh, democracy you can say uh, in practice you can say uh, democratic government are of a different kind they are not only one type of government exists, but there are many types of uh, uh, democratic uh, government. You can say um, uh, in practice, democratic government are, are different. Some are considered as elite driven. What is that elite? You may be knowing at your home, uh, you are being always asked to discuss something, but decision is always taken by the ruling people, yeah, seniors of the house. So democracy is sometimes elite driven. Elite driven means when you choose some representative and you choose and they, they became voice of yours, then that is called elite driven. Some democracies are called people's democracy. As I said, there's the idea of China, maybe uh, a consolidated democracy you can say democracy is a word democracy is a very very you can say uh, uh, advanced form for example if you compare britain and india then uh, britain is much more advanced and consolidated democracy because their their tolerance is there they they have their tolerance at all so uh, listen, uh, then uh, according to elitist, in liberal democracy, power is concentrated in the hands of the few, the elite. OK, then uh, there, if you if you want to go ahead inside the subject, you can differentiate it, differentiate now what is democracy and what is autocracy. Democracy have uh, have a participatory nature. They you 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 practice it you day to day in activity you debate you discuss uh, then uh, then you you talk about rule of law you talk about uh, uh, popular mandate you talk about free and fair um, elections and you you talk about autocracy if you will talk about free and fair election we, you have we have a election commission to look at it there are many things in democracy then uh, democracy uh, when you will talk about oh that government living in the middle east not democratic that means they are autocratic in nature then you will show that command of a individual that that government is based on uh, command of a individual then monarchs are ruling and obligation uh, obedience uh, citizens are there then you can say uh, there are no uh, space for opposition to work there are they seek for loyalty and there are many things is going on which is autocratic in nature that will there will be no political party and all that thing then you can say if you talk about democracy, then you have to uh, look at democracy in a conventional and unconventional nature. There are many uh, two different type of democracy, for example. There are direct democracy, maybe uh, many, many years back, thousand years back in uh, Switzerland, uh, there was cantons working and they, they were direct uh, ruling themselves by direct democracy. They were coming together, sitting along with uh, a space uh, and uh, taking care of their day to day activity of law by saying yes or no. And uh, they were confined to one particular uh, uh, locality. They were coming together and uh, they are confining to uh, locality. In there, you can say uh, democracy can be uh, in that sense can be defined into a direct democracy.
democracy is a participatory model where directly deliberate you deliberate on issue what is the meaning of deliberation deliberation is a, is a, a basic of uh, the democratic idea when you discuss something you deliberate on issue and you find out the solution of something which is going on in 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 a in a uh, legislative uh, uh, jurisdiction for example you decide on you make law you sit you discuss for example the idea the health health care is there the in during the emergency situation covid 19 came and we have to take a, make a law on it then we have to sit together then deliberate and then we have to in that sense democratic idea is always based on participatory model in in everywhere who are the target group means you, you are the contender of democracy and you have to take care of all that uh, is going to happen because you are part of it in 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 a representative democracy is opposite to direct democracy is just uh, just something beyond that direct democracy in a representative democracy the people elect the representative on behalf of them to deliberate to decide on the legislature and such a parliamentary such as in parliamentary or presidential democracy there are uh, parliamentary democracy you know india is a parliamentary democracy uk is a parliamentary democracy hungary is a parliamentary democracy presidential democracy you can say um, america is a presidential democracy and you can say russia is a presidential democracy you can say um, there are many many countries which are presidential democracy they are also uh, Uh, founded on democratic values and uh, in representative democracy uh, elements of two basic things are combined the most common decision making is depend on majority rule up uh, you know this is uh, when the majority will come after the election they will make the government government will take decision on behalf of the people others are uh, that is called uh, uh, super majority two third majority you may be heard about india in case if something urgent emergent will come will will just uh, will take care by come uh, by debating uh, uh, in uh, two houses of the lok sabha and rajya sabha you you can say we have to bring consensus on one particular bill or something else in the in the common variant of uh, democracy as our syllabus says uh, we should discuss on liberal democracy you 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 i said you you know about uh, people's democracy that may be you consider socialist democracy maybe illiberal democracy where somewhere tolerance is not there but we are now here to discuss what is a liberal democracy is all about the the common variant is liberal democracy the power of the majority are exercised within the framework of a representative democracy within the purview of a constitution is there that says that there should be a constitution to direct us how much how much power we exercise over one individual how much rights they the the people should uh, should uh, um, uh, uh, should uh, take care in a in a democracy you will besides the democracy you can say beside this uh, democracy you can say the 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 common variant of liberal democracy majority are exercised within the framework of uh, representative democracy but the constitution limits the majority majority and it also protects the minority usually you can say we are allowed to have uh, freedom of speech we, do, we have a freedom of association uh, 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 the minority should have freedom of religion they have their right to have uh, educational uh, um, uh, curriculum they have their right to profess uh, propagate their own religion these are the thing are the what constitution make us and constitution usually 
protect the minority that uh, in liberal democracy the idea of constitutionalism is the kernel stone of it you say this is the foundation upon which democracy stand upon in a, in a in a democracy it is assumed that there will be a diversity of opinion one basic uh, basic aspect of a uh, diversity you can say assumed that interest on almost every matter of concern everywhere whatever decision we are supposed to take definitely there will be diversity of opinion so democracy stand upon diversity is is uh, indeed this diversity seen as its main strength and it calls for tolerance for all sets of opinion for example when you talk about idea of uh, state for example what type of state we want then the idea says we want a multicultural multi religious tolerant state based on diversity that is in in our constitution and likewise a democratic society is meant to be open open means that open means is not like um, there would be no absolutely open that says that where there will be space for all shade of opinion there will be opinion should be respected what uh, in the picture i showed uh, uh, i have shown you the dissent here dissent here is like supposed to be uh, supposed to be uh, said as uh, dissent here is not is about disloyalty it is a positive civic duty here then you have to see that that dissent is a very 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 uh, basic aspect of democracy dissent says that that view of opposition allowing of minority views are basic criteria of democracy then let us uh, discuss on the idea of uh, uh, democracy we have already discussed uh, selie's idea on democracy we have already discussed the uh, abraham lincoln's idea on democracy and uh, in there we have already discussed like how elite democracy is different and uh, how people's democracy in china is different how in europe how consolidated democracy is working another word which uh, tinker in the mind of people that is called mobocracy that we we frequently use this term uh, in day to day activity day to day newspaper that mobocracy when mob decide the fate of democracy for example you say you 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 take take law in your hand and you decide what the law should have done it like uh, taking uh, law in your hand uh, that that says mobocracy Mob, mobs came and uh, beaten up the police and uh, doctors and all that that mobocracy says when uh, is a distorted form of democracy you so and uh, there are many uh, critics of liberal democracy liberal dem democracy is being always criticized you can say uh, is a, is a government uh, influenced by the elite elite group and it can it can be you can say the most fundamental argument against democracy is that ordinary members of the public as otherwise called as masses are simply incompetent or they say oh, masses don't do not know anything they they do not rule wisely in their own interest the earliest person you can say uh, you can find about uh, uh, democracy which is being uh, called as distorted form in plato's idea who advanced the idea of rule by virtuous people he said only government should be carried out by a class of philosopher king or guardian class who are really competent enough they have a knowledge what the government should do what government should not do and uh, then this idea of democracy many years back is also criticized by sociologists like uh, Par pareto ka uh, mikel uh, they argued that it was simply impossible the 90% of the people you can um, uh, uh, the you can say uh, is uh, is like um, incompetent impossible uh, then you can say uh, then uh, 
then critic uh, in the, in this idea in critic two you can also find for them democracy is no more than a foolish delusion because political power is all circulation fit one for example the bjp will come then congress will go the congress will come then bjp will go uh, what is the what about the common people they have not true the middle class will fully uh, uh, as expected they will decide it and you can say um, uh, then uh, uh, mikel uh, uh, proposed that elite rule followed from the iron law of oligarchy is is a, what you can say uh, uh you can say the karl marx criticized uh, liberal democracy see they said it, it is the bourgeois work the bourgeois is used to take care of uh, a democracy they 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 are the they are the partitioner of of what you call uh, the the capitalistic class he also criticized karl marx also criticized liberal democracy they say uh, they say uh, is is not worth of it we should you should bring people's democracy you can say you can bring people's democracy then uh, then in practice the 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 democratic government are of different kind as we discussed is consolidated democracy and liberal democracy they have criticized that but uh, how the modern democracy came in uh, britain is a one of the thing influence the idea of democracy after the enlightened era enlightenment phase jo jisko bolte hain renaissance enlightenment uh, the capitalistic uh, uh, growth came then modern democracies are closely bounded with the out idea of representation our main topic uh, today will be next class will be representation representation in politi politician here serve as people's representative we have already discussed this in practice there is no single model of representation elections are the basics of representative mechanism elected politician being able to call themselves as a representative on the grounds that they have been mandated by the people there there only we can justify the idea of tax as locke said 18th century england that no taxation without representation they were they is a, is a democratic idea evolved in between the feudalistic feudalism and capitalism capitalism has nurtured the idea of democracy and uh, it uh, it evolved that way in england in 18th century and then uh, glorious revolution came in 1688 and uh, the uh, idea of democracy uh, uh, evolved much more congruent way uh, to parliamentary democracy you can you, you may be uh, knowing the idea of uh, j s mill john stuart mill uh, maybe in the idea of lock how there should be limits on the government and how there should be a secret voting for the people how women should be given with rights as equal citizen there there are many things happen in 18th and 19th century if you uh, learn the idea of uh, samuel huntington in three waves of democracy you'll find first hand in the first wave the 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 western european countries evolved as a democratic nation the uh, the italy the the france then there was a reverse uh, reverse uh, wave happen the nazism and uh, and the fascism came then in the 1940s and 50s there was a second wave of democracy where democracy evolved as as uh, 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 to uh, asia africa and latin american countries they are being decolonialized and uh, the the idea of democracy then uh, went back into 1945 50s when the the world was divided into socialistic bloc and capitalistic bloc and socialistic bloc were saying themselves as people's democracy and uh, still they were not um, allowing the media to work openly they were they they have no open society the circulation of the information was controlled the travels were controlled 
controlled the readings were controlled the leisure period was controlled that was the era of communist era and uh, then 1985 the era ended 85 to 89 many of the changes happened in uh, in uh, in uh, um, uh, that uh, time that you can say uh, the most uh, fundamental thing happened in the third wave you can say all the satellite socialist countries uh, opted for um, democratic uh, capitalistic democracy and then the third wave uh, you can say this is called by samuel huntington as third wave and uh, um, uh, this third wave of democracy opened the gate of democratic idea to all the eastern european countries uh, and uh, yugoslavia you can see uh, yugoslavia broken into uh, eight provinces uh, and uh, the the all the uh, um, uh, central asian part also divided into six more different countries you you can see uh, the liberal democracy how evolved in three different phases uh, uh, by huntington and uh, then you can say uh, um, uh, democracy uh, talks about uh, the idea of uh, tolerating and the idea of multicultural issues and uh, uh, then uh, we, you can also talk about uh, how democracy uh, democracy evolved in post uh, authoritarian nations those are eastern european nations or uh, for example um, some countries are doing very good in democratic values they are allowing opposition they were allowing debate discussion civil society is existing public opinions are there they they respect public opinion they also initiate change they amend their constitution uh, they openly discuss what they want they do not thrash opposition or dissent they they, they do not uh, purge or uh, or uh, you can say um, uh, harass the opposition group you can say uh, in that way democratic society always based on open uh, society you can say it is open society it allow uh, the diversity it allow the difference of opinion it also allow the the discussion but maybe in the end you say elites used to take the um, uh, decision in that sense you can say multiculturalism can be uh, referred to the fact of uh, cultural diversity as in found in the countries for example uh, um, multiculturalism you can find in united kingdom that is your uh, uk great britain mein milta hai you can you can go ahead with uh, that different cultural group coexist in a peaceful manner that is uh, that is you can is a, is a basic idea of uh, a democracy in a basic idea of democracy you can say uh, 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 that says that the presence of various group in highlights the importance of cultural identity along with amalgamation that is called integration they go hand in hand they do not disturb each other they do not uh, they do not harm each other they stand together they tolerate and that's why you can say democracy you can say tolerance is the basic idea or foundation stone of democracy that uh, that uh, uh, we have already discussed as that uh, on the ground of cultural diversity various groups campaign for their rights but uh, their rights are supposed to be within the constitutional purview they should respect the the others demand also the constitutional uh, um, uh, rights for example recognition of their language as part of uh, in india maybe recognition of their food habit their culture their identity their special rights this is what you can say uh, in a multicultural democracy talks about what government should do in that sense government should recognize that all citizen are uh, diverse but they have a equal opportunity for develop their self respect 
For example, you take the example of India. India is a multicultural, multi-religious, diverse one nation. Here we self, we respect each other's autonomy. In order to protect the structure, uh, what we have made, we recognized different type of language. If we go to the multicultural idea, you can be better take the example of Canada. Maybe in Canada, for example, they have uh, they have uh, a, they have recognized two languages as their uh, their national language. The multiculturalism here demands tolerance, tolerance of state or, or government directly not to interfere with the culture. Whatever may somebody likes or like, let them do it. That that says in simple term, you can say multiculturalism says about leave and let leave others. Let others leave. Is a deliberate refusal to to interfere. Uh, is a type of maturity you can say when we become more consolidated like state. We'll hardly bother who is doing what. It will be high level of maturity and democracy demand maturity demands that we should recognize the difference in others. And uh, if we we'll recognize the demand for others, then we have to bring some constitutional mechanism to reach there because democracy in the first sense is constitutionalism is uh, is not a rule by any man. It is a rule by people. It's ruled by law. Through law, we have to politically recognize that these are the culturally different group and we maturely recognize the difference in them. And in that sense, multiculturalism demands tolerance. Tolerance, political recognition, media recognition, recognizing the uh, mother language of uh, of one particular region, maybe food habit, maybe um, primordial uh, differences. For example, northeastern region in India is a completely primordially different. Then we have to tolerate, and the when they come to the mainstream culture, they should not feel sigh out from the uh, 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 main culture, mainstream culture. They should feel integrated. They should feel, yes, I, we are the part of India. India is a democratic nation. We have a freedom to roam around Delhi. That you can say leave and let others leave is the basic idea of, of uh, um, uh, your um, mechanism. The debate, uh, the next portion of it, you can say uh, the multiculturalism and tolerance. What government should do? Government should recognize that all citizens deserve equal opportunity for developing self-respect and autonomy. And in the schedule, for example, if you take the Indian Constitution, schedule, uh, schedule 8th of the Indian Constitution, schedule 6 of the Indian Constitution, uh, 371A to 370G, 71G all says that some portion of India have autonomous re respect. They have identity of different kind. In order to protect this structure, the liberal state sometimes needs to grant group specific right, autonomous region. They are group specific right. Schedule tribe area, area you cannot enter into and purchase land. You cannot enter into their cultural activity, primordial ethnic needs. A group specific rights enables a minority to preserve its tradition, thus to protect itself from policies of wider society which is specifically their own identity because identity is the buzzword in 21st century. You know it and democracy recognize different diverse identity. Multiculturalism demands tolerance of state or government and direct not to interfere and morally judge any diverse culture. 
here is a very important aspect of multiculturalism which is completely related to democratic uh, value that is called morali jaze we should not uh, deliberately describe some people oh you are like this you are like this you are not coming from the uh, particular culture everyone have own their uh, one of their own life then democracy talk about tolerance tolerance in that sense you can say uh, you have to talk about tolerance in that sense is no a police del delusion you have to tolerate it tolerate the diversity democratic representation the next phase of uh, a democratic uh, idea goes to uh, uh, representation modern democracy is closely associated with the idea of representation there are indirect democracies where citizen no longer rule directly for example india usa united kingdom new zealand many of the modern democracy is based on representation representation are those who have been seen as a people who know better than others better than the mass better than the uh, normal people of citizen people elect politician who represent them are having mature judgment they have a enlightened conscience you can say they the politician knows better in their uh you can say a politician should be less corrupt they have a very good uh, uh, character they may very good gesture towards people for seva ki gesture they should do some services to the people they are free uh, um, they they are always uh, reachable to the people uh, they should take care of the interest of the people and they they echo the voice of the people when the the representative echo the voice of the people you say this is a good politician he is talking like normal individual then you can say uh, uh, free and fair election are also uh, uh, you can say uh, life blood of democracy he talks about democracy also talks about participation participation in that sense you can say uh, citizens participation is a democracy is a very vital for democracy a participative deliberative democracy is a healthy democracy and participation is more than voting it's about helping representative to rule in a responsible manner a representative democracy in a participative model is always responsive what do you mean by responsiveness in democracy responsiveness in democracy says that you should be always answerable to the people if some urgency happens some emergency happen you should say that yes i take the responsibility something wrong has happened i take the responsibility participation is more than you can say responsiveness is the life blood of a parliamentary democracy accountability is always being checked in parliament parliament is always being uh, said that you you say that uh, uh, parliament is uh, when opposition ask questions the people ask question to each other the participation is uh, in that sense you can say representative usually talks about themselves they 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 think that we are talking on behalf of people we are deliberating we are discussing we are debating and in in a participatory deliberative democracy is you can say healthy democracy why for example people are uh, um, people are trying to um, complain that something is not being discussed and something is not being asked to us how all of a sudden government took the decision people do complain but in a participatory deliberative democracy people uh, is more than voters they do not remain silent or subjective 
they they come ahead they participate actively they tweet often the debate and they remain fearless because participatory democracy allows opposition views and dissent is a healthy culture in a participative democracy in a civil society for example is allowed here in a participatory democracy is you can say citizens participation in day to day activity of government making government uh, law making is there for example we 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 know many a time about um, not government is governance that governance says the participatory model of the people the people are the life blood of democracy they should deliberate they should participate other than voting one man one vote that uh, basic suffrage uh, skill we have under article 28 maybe because helping uh, representative to come to rule us other than that that participatory democracy says that citizens are not only cut putli is in the hands of the people and the politician they 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 have a voice a responsive voice in the activity of the government and a government should take it as in healthy manner they should take that that uh, that, um, that it should be it should be educative it educate the people to participate in public activity and helps in active citizenship that active citizenship says it promotes that uh if people will actively participate there will be no no corruption will happen in politics they will be always educating the government about the problems of the people because uh, maybe uh, representative always remain don't remain in the uh, um, field uh, or constituency always they may always uh, um, get feedback from the people political process becomes transparent accountable to the people is a participatory democracy has a basic merit it reduces the gap between elite and mass a governed and governor mass and people mass and elites there there will be a via media you can discuss there will discuss deliberate and debate and denote one law the participatory democracy is is a, is a is a is a, is a way, talks about active citizenship it's always think about a diversity of opinion in that way it educate the government it it helps the government to look look the particular issue from a different angle and if you talk whether participatory democracy is a good democracy or bad democracy then it, it it is a point the participatory deliberative democracy is is the aim of every uh, democracy today's world why britain is completely different than india that because the citizen of britain are more active and they are more participative in their nature than us because we are like subjects we 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 uh, we look at our uh, our representative as half god we, we political process says that because it's a consolidated democracy in the first page we have seen that that's a consolidated democracy that means that they are they are not nascent they are not immature democracy they are mature democracy and they they look at uh, uh, democracy in 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 that way here we can uh, you can look at uh, the idea of uh, participation and uh, participative democracy it promotes public interest it checks uh, corruption in politics it educate the government about problem of the people political process becomes transparent and transparency what for example we talked about governance governance for example in last few years we are always talking about governance and governance is what you say 
governance talk about transparency people are should be open to debate because uh, we are part of diverse society and definitely diverse plural uh, ideas will come and people will participate the meaning of uh, tolerance becomes very very uh, important in a participatory democracy you feel, you know somebody is saying wrong but you 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 should respond in a positive manner or oh, you you are looking at the uh, issue in different manner intolerance is the basic norm of uh, you can say attitude of a democratic uh, government this may be drastically different the basic norms of maintaining law and order peace and justice and here you have to also tolerate various cultures and uh, uh, tolerance is the main aspect of uh, today's uh, second part of democracy my debating we are supposed to debate the tolerance and uh, if we look at the uh, uh, diversity india has always accommodated that diversity diversity a plural society uh, where diversity or difference different ways by different plural society is being acknowledged if for example you can say uh, we are uh, we are equal citizens throughout the india we are equal citizens but our cultural cultural identities are different our customs our attitude it means the blending blending means bringing all the uh, for example you pick the example of a salad bowl in a salad bowl there are different types of colors of vegetables are there they do not uh, harm each other they they create a blend in it and that blend is becomes a healthy salad bowl that blending fusing of uh, minority groups their taste and culture dominate our society that is called india and in india you can say is a cultural is a cultural diverse society then you can say it means that blending or fusing of minority groups into the dominant society assimilation may in involve either a quick or gradual change depending on circumstances but thing is that there will be all groups become identical is wrong in case of democracy we we'll say that everybody will change and there will be created a single identity then it will harm to the idea of diversity along with the idea of democracy this is the like um, american model maybe american model says this is like unity of all matter that is called melting pot india do not accept that american culture india has a unique concept of democracy and diversity india has a different type of assimilating tendency but it, it do not harm any one single particular culture then you can say cultural assimilation can happen either spontaneously or forcibly what do you say that cultural assimilation can happen either spontaneously or forcibly a culture can spontaneously adopt a different culture which is older and richer culture but forcefully it also can happen in india for example the culture the new culture is always being in assimilated in tendency we integrate people we do not force to them to integrate that integrating itself for example social integration in that sense talks about we accept some groups are ethnically different some are on on privileged section some are women some are children some are differently old age people they should be taken care of differently in a democracy and healthy democracy all which integrate it has integrating tendency and it recognize minority it recognize diversity along with that unity it is common as the 
salad bowl i have given the example here you can say here plurality is saved and there will be no monolithism monolith monism you can say monism means one particular culture dominance of one particular culture that you can say that uh, that thing is you can uh, that dominates then you can say for what usually happen in in that sense uh, we in a multicultural society we tolerate each other we we tolerate their language their way of life the ethnic primordial uh, inclinations their um, diversity that can a democratic society treat all its member as equal then also recognize their specific and cultural diversity then comes the idea of for example the the brings the leading social scientist charles taylor says initial inquiry is that liberal democratic states make rooms and should make rooms for the distinctive cultural traditions we are here to recognize the difference in every religious region groups and we have to accommodate respect their difference and should be recognized for his and his her unique identity and here we we have to take care of the uh, idea of tolerance tolerance is the very basic idea of democracy then we are discussing here about uh, the idea of deliberative democracy then deliberative democracy of uh, is a, is a deliberative democracy was a very powerful reaction to elitist democracy we have discussed in the first page as a practicing democracy here we have discussed that there is a elite driven democracy is deliberative democracy oppose the idea of elitist vision of democracy deliberative democracy is a, is a based on the concept of popular rule it is a form of democracy in which deliberation is central to decision making it accept adopt elements of both consensus one one simple specific word is that consent and consensus is the basic of deliberative democracy and deliberative democracy not only uh, view itself as uh, you can say only confined to the idea of um, voting it it try to uh, feel the people that they are the part and parcel of deliberation the people who are going to be affected by the decision should be part of the decision for example you are always uh, being a uh, uh, influenced by the government's decision making then you should be part of the part of the uh, uh, decision making then it is an approach deliberative democracy is an approach of law making in which people are going to be affected by the law and they should make that law and there will be discussion of uh, multiple options in democracy for example rational choicing for example everybody will come up with some decisions and they will talk to each other regarding decision making directly or to the citizen and uh, they they may send some pamphlet here they may send some uh, feedback form they may take your views they may renew the law they, they rename the law they change the law you can you can say in that sense deliberative democracy holds that a democratic idea the decision making should have some legitimization what do you mean by legitimization here is that you are the people we the people of india and we should take the the deliberate decision making and in that sense you can you can you, your idea should be the idea of legitimization 
deliberative democracy can be practiced by decision making in both representative democracy or direct democracy in elitist view deliberate democracy is a is is you can say elitists say no de deliberative democracy is impossible because uh, it's is becomes mobocracy mobs is a group a big group of people they cannot be consented they, there should not be consensus in that way deliberative democracy can be practiced it can be it rests on the core notion of the citizens and their representative deliberating about public problem and solution under conditions that are conducive to reasoned reflection what do you mean by reflection we have to reflect we have to think over we have to ponder we have to for, for example some wrong something wrong had happened then we have to take care of uh, uh, take care of the uh, uh, take care of the uh, idea of uh, deliberating and um, uh, for example let the public judge let, let that will be mutual willingness consensus building and uh, reframing the idea there the mutually acceptable solution there should be a consent you can say there should be consent and that if there would not be consent that that says that the dissent is there the dissent should not be considered as uh, as uh, something anti uh, government or anti establishment it should be positively taken as civic duty to include the dissent and democracy says in a public sphere can generate opportunity for forming the law then reforming the law refining revising and then taking the views of the people who are largely being influenced by the law and the you can say the history of a deliberate decision making you can go back to the uh, 19th century as i discussed the lockean view uh, lockean view you can say uh, um, uh, the society became more uh, complex in during those days and you can say uh, consensus based decision making was was similar to uh, uh, deliberative democracy can be characterized in consent the idea of consent people will come together they will give their consent directly for example you can connect it to the athenian democracy beyond uh, like very uh, 2000 year back maybe where um, people used to sit in a in a uh, in a uh, place and they were discussing about law making and uh, saying yes and no to law making you can you can you can visualize the idea of direct democracy maybe deliberative democracy in the panchayat level for example in panchayat level we we come together we discuss we debate and we try to uh, try to solve our own problem and bring new solution and uh, that says um, that uh, that uh, that Uh, deliberative theory says that that substantive balance between the opposition and you can say and uh, uh, alternative um, thinking and you can say diversity of uh, views deliberative democracy you can say have many 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 um, uh, characteristics one deliberative democracy makes the things informative you get more and more information and substantive balance in their different positions are compared based their supportive evidence and all major positions relevant to the matter at the hand held by the public are considered as more uh, more authentic in there you should take the idea of equal consideration of the people that people should be considerate about each other they should not be they should not be you can say and uh, you can say that um, there, there would be independent groups and but the the decision making should based on 
consensus building consensus building there should be unity and integrity in decision making and you can say uh, in democratic uh, deliberative democracy allow people to use a liberty of expression liberty of expression you can say at the basic of democracy and liberty of expression says that um, that expression can be in a written form and unwritten form and but that that uh, the, uh, liberty should be reciprocal if government is asking you to freely express yourself then government is also demanding you to accept the rule made by the government and there should be reciprocity and the there should be uh, acceptability of the bindingness of the thing you can say uh, there are many uh, many merits of deliberative democracy deliberative democratic models are more easily able to incorporate scientific opinion they are always say the democratic uh, views are more scientific in nature they they can say another strength of democratic uh, model you can say um, policy outcomes are based on research they 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 take the feedback of the people and another strength of deliberative democratic model is that they tend more than any other model to generate ideal condition of impartiality because as you thoroughly talk on the issue you become impartial you try to realize what opposition is going to say you you because you have given with various facts and the more condition are fulfilled the greater the likelihood that decision reach on morally correct ground then as much as you discuss because democracy as we know talks about for the people for the people not only include the people who are in government they are also talks about the opposition who are also part and parcel of the nation that democracy says deliberative democracy says produce a less partition view a view which is authentic which is which is based on uh, you can say um, uh, reasoning which is uh, which you which is a uh, dynamic uh, it is not constant because it change according to the uh, respect of the evidence uh, you can say um, uh, the uh, um, uh, merit of the theory deliberative democracy you can say lies in responsiveness i have already discussed the idea of responsiveness deliberative democracy you can say is is based on response response of the people response of the opposition response of the uh, uh, you can say uh, minority resp response of the uh, media response of the uh, civil society response of the people who are doing research on it then you can say um, uh, key reason for a deliberative democracy is to empower the people because ultimately the idea of democracy says that voice of people is a voice of god then you 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 can say rousseau's idea of voice of people is a voice of god is that says box people e and box they says that that people should uh, should uh, empower to make their own law in indian context one swa shasan you can say hum khud apna shasan karenge vishwa shasan we we fought a very big independence movement um, uh, to establish our own democracy then um, um, radical theory like uh, uh, people who who practice the socialistic democracy do they do not believe in this type of plural uh, multicultural democracy they says this is inconvenient this 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 is not a good uh, term of uh, democracy this this is the uh, this is bourgeois democracy you can say um where civil society is not part of uh, world when um, there would be no active citizenship there would be uh, there, there would be no decision making and different and diversity may be regarded rather than tolerated 
in in a deliberative democracy and you can say uh, then then the idea of a marxist view on democracy which is people's democracy people's democracy you know working class democracy that 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 their opposition is not at all allowed when you you can say you can identify that um, uh, democracy that type of democracy you can say, uh, get a chinese model maybe uh, a communist democracy where um, uh, um, one party will will echo the idea of democracy and they will neither talk about democracy they will talk about the stateless and classless society in a democracy for example very basic of uh, liberal democracy that there should be multi party system one simple idea that there should be multi party system in a liberal democracy and there should be elections and multi party system is a is is one of the basic idea of democracy you can say and that multi party system must allow other parties are uh, are as due in in particular uh, uh, a particular aspect for example uh, in liberal western liberal democracies um, people are also given with liberty and right in western liberal democracy liberty of thought expression is there Al along with there you can say mm, uh, but the reality of this liberty can be analyzed by looking at the mass media that that liberty should not be only seen as a constitutional value that should be taken care by you can say taken care by the government you can say this in a western liberal democracies liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship is are allowed in 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 a democratic democracy in india also we have allowed almost all these type of liberty and we have fundamental rights the most important among the liberty is the liberty of free expression but the reality of this liberty can be analyzed by looking at the mass media that is called your press your radio tv cinema all these ideological apparatus are must be controlled not controlled by anyone should be independent that says that deliberative democracy should leave the media the people uh, the press the radio should not be owned by some particular group or bourgeois as said by the marxist human brains are also attacked from all the direction in that way bourgeois that um, communist people says that, that there is a false consciousness but in liberal democracy says that the, these uh, these as fourth state of the government they should be free and independent and another point which which makes a vibrant democracy is is independent judiciary in in uh, in mature democracy like america uh, in a consolidated mature means consolidated democracy in a american constitution and in uh, independent judiciary has been given importance as a necessary requirement of democracy and in order to protect civil liberties to save the people from unconstitutional law and independent judiciary and along with judicial review is considered as very very necessary that is what in india also say india in india also we we aspect um, then you can say um, uh then you can say the judiciary is there to maintain the uh, political system in equilibrium uh, then uh, the judiciary is there to maintain the political system and safeguard the constitution from internal and external attack an independent judiciary can perform this task better independent in indian term you can say is a nishpaksh rehna 
and liberal democracies that judicial process should be very complex and can't costly but if there will be a political branch of the um, uh, government for the working class is is should uh, like uh, be better get justice in a independent judiciary in a democracy and uh, along with uh, free media um, uh, with independent judiciary along with there should be a written constitution written constitution which is hard to change should be the basic norm of uh, a democracy you can say constitutional and limited government is required as an essential requirement for liberal democracy the constitution is regarded as the fundamental law of the land made by the people and um, the uh, the preamble says we the people of the india uh, should be the uh, the upholder of the constitution and that constitution says that constitution says that um, uh, constitution the ev of the all the law and we should we should manage uh, one thing that uh, constitution should be um, uh, constitutionalism should be the part and parcel of a democracy vibrant democracy every liberal constitution has their own uh, views like um, some emergency provisions are there from where we protect our system during a period of crisis like this then we also protect our socio economic and uh, cultural uh, people uh, we also take care of our poor needy and all that we we have written everything in the constitution in the beginning or also i have said that that the democracy is 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 where rule of of law should be there that nobody no human being should uh, only the owner of the uh, country that there should be rule of law rights for the citizens should be there there should be popular mandate and there should be free and fair election and there should be one election commission which is independent to judge whether the election going on is right or wrong and there should be also group of administration like bureaucracy police army serving the interest of the people they are not serving the interest of the elite class but serving the interest of the people that you can say in that sense you can you can learn more about the idea of the um, um, democracy then you can say uh, the more, the the idea of democracy the, the idea of democracy you can say can be uh, different than the authoritarian vision authoritarian reason when uh, one monarch command uh, all the individual they think you are the subject here democracy talks about that uh, that the no nobody is going to command you you are the part and parcel of the government and you will become uh, part and parcel of the government so you will be the uh, ru ruler rule rule by the uh, rule rule uh, should be accustomed to take care of yourself and that you say uh, that a rule should not uh, come as obeying someone you must have a obligation towards your nation state you are living in the democracy talks about that type of loyalty towards your nation not to some individual not some, to some political party it seeks your loyalty to the nation democracy talks about that loyalty to the nation and you can say uh, that there are many different uh, uh, aspects of democracy where you can say that the the um, the function the objective of democracy you can say uh, is uh, is every democracy in is is talks about the interest of the people interest says that the the in the interest says that there should be a consent 
of everywhere there will be freedom of assembly speech inclusiveness there should be equality equality of gender equality of place of birth there should be membership should be open hotels um, uh, theaters should be open to all groups and there should be uh, there should be inclusion inclusion of backward class inclusion of ethnic groups and there should be recognition of minority rights and uh, democracy talks about um, um, uh, your right to life liberty property which is enshrined in the idea of lock for example he says that there should be limited government government should work according to the uh, limits per, given by the constitution and then uh, in a, as we discussed that in a direct democracy we we directly deliberate we discuss in a small uh, tiny uh, space like uh, switzerland can turn direct democracy is possible in 2000 years back a direct democracy was possible in in uh, in athens and sparta and they make law themselves in representative democracy like india for example uk us the every day meeting and deliberating is impossible because large number of people are there in a representative democracy the people elect a representative to deliberate on various issues related to day to day activity of life in their participation becomes very important and a participation uh, during not only during the uh, election but also during the Uh, representation uh, during the during the day to day activity the most common decision making approach in a representative democracy is rule by majority whosoever government as democracy talks about multi party system may be by party system like uk and us there are other you can say majority usually makes the government in that um, in the common uh, variant of liberal democracy you can say presidential form of democracy is there there are also parliamentary form of democracy there certainly constitution limits the majority and protects the minority where you can say presidents rules is there for there there are also you can say um, power of um, parliament is there parliament also restrict the legislature it restrict the executive it also um, 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 limits the judiciary there will be checks and balances in liberal democracy also go according to the checks and balances and specifically democracy talks about uh, different uh, type of uh, things like consent of the governed who are the governed here the uh, the citizens are the governed in a democracy it is assumed that there will be diversity of opinion diversity of opinion and interest on almost every matter is a common concern in a democracy indeed this diversity is seen as its main strength it calls for tolerance as we discussed um, a uh, few uh, minutes before we we have discussing about the idea of um, uh, democratic society democratic society would be like open society it should allow the all sets of opinions multiple opinion public opinion and uh, by taking the feedback from the public opinion the government will make law so views of opposition allowing minority views are a basic criteria of the uh, democracy democracy is uh, in that way where you can um, everyone has a say a say you can say uh, the form of political organization which public opinion has own control and public opinion should be reflected in in a independent judicial uh, independent media the media should not be controlled and uh, the media should work as a fourth state of the uh, state the democracy talks about in that way you can say um, uh, talks about a responsive government 
responsive government which will be uh, answerable not only to people but also listen to the heart and needs of the people it will uh, benefit uh, the people and in practice the democratic government are of different some are considered as elite driven as we discuss elite driven is like uh, where everyone is asked to participate during voting time but nobody is asked before the law making elite driven in that sense uh, if you to divide the society into two groups elites are the people who have power in their hand and very near to, to law making economic power may be political power may be psychological power may be may be of spiritual power they will be nearer to legislature the legislature law making body and 90% of other are the citizen who are the mass they are they are the people who who are supposed to take care uh, of the uh, rules they they are just to obey the rules then in a, in a participatory democracy the they they should take care the the um, the um, id uh, the masses the, the the some democracy can be called people's democracy some are called advanced democracy and of uh, some are called consolidated democracy in people's democracy for example you can say where where workers democracy the idea of uh, centralized um, you can say centralize uh, decision making once a decision is made then nobody is going to change again centralization of decision making that one polit bureau may be in china may be making some rules if you are going to oppose that you should be thrown out of the party membership then you can say people's democracy is a lopsided idea of democracy it is not the idea of deliberative democracy where diversity is accepted public opinion is accepted dissent is accepted debate is accepted according to elitist uh, there were another view which is called in uh, liberal democracy is elite these are the elite where power is being concentrated hand of few they some are called advanced democracy consolidated democracy advanced democracy for example many of comparative politics uh, um, uh, theorists have talked about advanced democracy lies in uk and us they are very much consolidated elections are not happening in procedural form they are uh, uh, substantive way uh, people are engaged in decision making according to the elitist in liberal democracy power is concentrated in the hand of few but deliberative democracy says power should not be concentrated in, in the hands of the few they should go deep to the down to the people and people should participate there should be decentralization of power the deliberative democracy in indian context say decentralization of power in modern democracies are closely bound by the idea of representation as we already discussed is the idea of representation we are living in a indirect democracy politician here to serve as the people's representative in practice there is no single model of representation one particular democracy is not at all equal to another particular democracy elections are based on representative mechanism elected politician are being to call themselves representative on the ground that they have been mandated by the people they have been mandated by the people to take care of the people and in that sense many people specifically elitist viewers are uh, criticize the idea of liberal democracy specifically um, uh, marxist people uh, and um, uh, philosophers like plato uh, also criticize democracy aristotle also criticize democracy is a poorer type of um, uh, government mechanism 
the most fundamental argument against democracy is that ordinary member of the public as otherwise called masses are simply incompetent to rule wisely in their own interest so you just imagine a situation where elitists are always saying that that virtuous the people who have uh, more knowledge should uh, should uh, should um, rule the um, uh, rule the masses plato's idea of philosopher king may be guardian class may be whereas plato suggested that democracy should be delivered as bad government and uh, in the same way aristotle also talked about that um, uh, democracy is not a very good type of government then uh, you can say that uh, pareto mushka mikel argued that it was simply impossible for them democracy is no more than foolish delusion is like a political power is always exercised by the privileged minority in the ruling class mosca proclaimed that in all societies there are two classes of people appear a class rules and class that is ruled mikel proposed that elite rule followed from what he called the iron law of oligarchy is a type of oligarchy is a group of people who always powerful rule the idea rule the state Karl Marx also criticized liberal democracy. He says that it always the state is state in the hands of bourgeois is a mechanism to to um, exploit the mass. Then you can say uh, idea of democracy, democratic values is being criticized by many philosophers. then uh, the idea of multiculturalism and tolerance came multiculturalism and tolerance says can be referred in the class uh, cultural diversity cultural diversity you can say can be referred to the fact of cultural diversity as found in countries ranging from yugoslavia to uk the idea you can hear propagate uh, uh, the idea you can say the presence of various group in modern society as we discussed for example whether there should be one multicultural uh, multicultural idea that that multiculturalism can be referred to the fact of cultural diversity as fact uh, you can find in indian case as we discussed for example the idea of uh um, salad bowl where you are um, you are going to uh, get identified yourself as different but there should be a blending of taste your identity should not be uh, uh, um, um, uh, should not be um, forced or to be integrated on the ground of cultural identity various groups campaign for social rights that social rights should be accepted they should be given media representation they should be given uh, political recognition to the language constitutional recognition as for example in indian case we have given um, uh, the recognition to 20 uh, to 23 uh, languages in our eight schedule along with hindi as our national language there are trilingual policy may we have accepted what government should do in that sense the government should recognize that all citizen deserve equal opposition opportunity for developing self respect and autonomy in order to protect this structure the liberal states sometimes need to grant group specific rights group specific rights say is that there should be autonomous regions there should be for example if you go to north eastern region uh, bodo people demanded bodo language to be uh, uh, to be considered as as a uh, second language in assam 
Likewise, group specific rights enables a minority to preserve this tradition, thus to protect itself from politics of wider society. What autonomy identity talks about that they should preserve their own tradition, their primordial norms, values, cultural, uh, cultural aspects, their practices. Multiculturalism demands tolerance of the state or government. It directs not to interfere anybody's issue, specifically related to, um, uh, to any diverse culture that talks about um, leave and let others leave. Deliberate refusal to interference. A type of maturity to recognize the difference in other. The de debate, the representative here, uh, the main aspect of debate, you can say modern democracy is closely associated with the idea of representation. Representation is enough, not enough for the democracy. These are indirect modules, you can say mechanism of democracy where citizens no longer rule directly. For example, in India, US, UK, New Zealand, Germany, a representative are, are those who have been seen as people who know better than the other. Then you can say people elect politicians who represent them are having mature judgment and enlightened concerns. We think we think people who are electing who represent them are having mature judgment. And enlightened concerns free and fair election should be lifeblood of democracy. But in a representative democracy is always elite as I said in the slide is elite driven. It is not always very, uh, very, very healthy for a democratic values because it do not allow people to actively participate. Understand that free and fair elections happen, but after the election with the Neither the representative reach to the people, neither people reach to their politicians. Here come the idea of comes the idea of participation. If citizens are active, if they are participating, then only we can establish a vibrant democracy. The participation itself says that a participatory democracy is you can say deliberate for the discuss debate and define. A participative deliberative democracy is a healthy democracy. You can say participation is more than voting. You do it. You write. You do not worry. Who do not fear for something. There should be free and openness. In a democracy, the idea says that people should take responsibility in their own hand and participate in democracy in responsive manner. The merit of participative democracy, you can say, is it becomes very, very responsive, responsive to the needs of the people, responsive to the target of the people, what people want, what they do not want. If a democratically vibrant government is there, then it will definitely be responsive. It will maybe, and media here takes a very good uh, responsibility to represent the voice, the public opinion. It educates people to participate in public activities, helps in active citizenship. Democracy says that it promotes the public interest. It will check the, uh, the uh, corrupt politicians 
corrupt behavior of politicians it will check the imbalance between majority and minority opinion it will it will mold the idea of consensus building in that sense democracy should be based on the process you call transparency and accountability transparency you can say uh, that should be people should be open to the information government has on what basis government is taking decisions that you can say political process becomes transparent in that sense it reduces the the gap between the elite and masses the idea of democracy in that sense says about the idea of reducing the gap between let us go back to the picture on democracy again then let us uh, conclude the idea of a democracy uh, that democracy uh, talks about people people's power it is for of the people by the people and for the people and it should take care of the people as the main prospect of uh, ruling it it should not be only confined democracy should not be confined only to a mechanism of governing it should comes substantive way to the uh, you can say uh, to the life uh, uh, day to day activity of the people and democracy recognize some amount of rights democracy says individual must have uh, liberty right and it should have uh, uh, democracy says uh, that um, every people should individual should be respected he should or she should be given with some amount of individual rights that is called liberty liberty of expression belief faith ownership they should have right uh, rights uh, of like uh, equality democracy talk about majority governing majority will rule the democracy it talks democracy talks about politics what does it means by politics politics says we will not use coercive power we would not use violence we should come together we should discuss debate deliberate and decide on some issues and democracy talks about procedural part of it says voting in a certain period and voting through certain procedure democracy says that we should vote in every 5 year maybe 4 year maybe 6 year and that is that voting should happen in a free and fair manner the democracy says the basic idea says that it should respect the public opinion democracy says that it should respect the public opinion it says that you should also respect the dissent dissent says that difference of opinion it also allow other opinions to give us rational choice we should not demean the opposition in that sense we should also take as a healthy challenge healthy duty to understand the opinion of opposition and democracy talks about tolerance tolerance is the basic value of democracy it should be always uh, respect uh, people who are saying differently people who have a different voice people who have different uh, thinking democracy as a practice also should respect civil society it is it should not only talks about civil society it should always deliberate 
discuss on various platforms it also talks about about healthy media the media should be independent the media should open informative responsive to the people deliberative democracy talks about freedom of opinion is also talks about independent judiciary deliberative democracy says there should be independence of judiciary the judiciary should be responsive to the needs of the people along with that you can say democracy always gives power to the people people who are the real owner or real creator of the state that's why our constitution starts with the word we the people we the people becomes very powerful phenomenon in democracy so democracy can be you can say is a concept which empower whole idea of politics it is the one single idea which gives political science a relevance today here in here in democracy we try to understand what people want why people are demanding something which demand we should accept which demand we should reject this is how we can conclude today the idea that what is democracy and in practical sense what is democracy is all about whether it is elite driven or it is uh, mobocracy you can say um, uh, next uh, we have already discussed what is the uh, idea other ideas in democracy and how democracy is different than autocracy and autocratic reasons are how for example you took the example monarchical democracy in britain and um, monarchical autocracy in middle east countries then we have discussed um, models of uh, representative democracy then you can uh, which you can see in the french revolution american revolution which is in popularized in 19th century india also fought the revolution for independence which ultimately enshrined us with the right to life liberty and freedom and likewise you can say uh, democracy can be of there are criticism for against the democracy how plato aristotle criticized it pareto mosca and all them all of them criticized it and along with that we have discussed the debated between what is representative democracy what is uh, deliberative democracy and how multiculturalism and tolerance can be part and parcel of democracy yes some students were asking for the notes in the question answer i'll be definitely being providing this uh, uh, in the google uh, microsoft team and uh, now we have also debated regarding representative and participative democracy then we have discussed how indirect democracy in various states we are working how representative should be uh, taken care of the interest of the people people also elect politicians how politician should be work along with their enlightened consciences and uh, in that way how citizen should citizen should participate in a democracy is a vital for democracy and to conclude we can say that democracy uh, is a, is a, is 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 a very powerful mechanism and in today's world it is uh, it is not only confined to voting it is it is is confined to debating discussing deliberating it is it is very urgent to be a democracy to be more responsive to the idea of we the people and in that way 
we 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 there are also i referred few books you can also go through those books and uh, you can communicate to me with a google team a microsoft team um uh, if you have any questions please uh, communicate uh, there is a picture on democracy again i can um, show you the uh, thank you